Want to learn how to potentially remove some penalties that were assessed by the IRS with a simple phone call? Check out this video to see who qualifies, what penalties can be removed, and how to get it done. Now, I know the IRS can be big and scary and send out some nasty letters, but they actually do have a get out of jail free card, something called the first time penalty abatement. And that's what we're going to be going over today. All right. So what penalties can be removed with this first time penalty abatement? The failure to file penalty, or what I like to call it, the late file penalty, the failure to pay penalty, or the late pay penalty can either be removed with this first time penalty abatement so long that you qualify. Who qualifies? Individuals, partnerships, S or C corporations qualify who meet the following criteria. They have filed or filed an extension for any currently due tax returns and they have paid or arranged to pay, which means an installment agreement, for all the tax due and they haven't had these penalties within the prior three years of the year that you're trying to get abated. Now, how to get the first time penalty abatement? It's as simple as this. You call the IRS and ask, can I get the first time penalty abatement? No joke. Nine times out of 10, so long that you meet the criteria that we just went through, the IRS will grant it to you over the phone. On the rare occasions that you owe a big penalty, the IRS will require that you file a form 843. In a separate video, I'll go through an 843 that I went through for a first time penalty abatement that I got accepted. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please support the channel by smashing that like button, subscribing, and uh, sharing this with anyone that you think this might help out. Thanks so much, guys.